Hi there, this is Ranjit from tech2bus.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to sync and transfer your files from your Android phone to your computer. And I uh, do get this question quite a bit. Uh, uh, Ranjit, I bought this new Android smartphone. It's a high-end phone but uh, I did not get any PC software. And the, and the fact is that with Android devices, it's not just one way that you can transfer files from your, let's say your computer to the Android phone or vice versa. There are multiple ways. For example, some vendors like Samsung do bundled software. For example, if you're using a Samsung phone, you can use Kai software. But many of the other vendors just simply do not uh, give you any PC software. And I'm going to show you three different ways using which you can transfer files from your Android phone to your PC and also sync the same. And the first method is very simple. With every Android phone, uh, you have a USB port and you can just plug in this uh, USB device and uh, it'll show you uh, as a, what do you say, a folder on your computer and you can just browse that uh, and uh, transfer files or delete files. And I'm gonna show you how to do the same now. Now let me show you how to connect the USB cable and this is a Galaxy Nexon Android phone. First connect this USB cable to your PC and just plug it in and a menu should pop in and as if you scroll down as you can see it right now it's connected as a media device. Again based upon your phone the options will be a little bit different if you just tap on the same. Here on the Nexus it gives us two options to act like a camera or like an MTP device. We want it to be like an MTP device so that it just opens up as a folder. And do note that if you are doing this for the first time, uh, your computer might download the drivers. So make sure that you're connected to the internet. And now, uh, as you can see, the Windows Explorer launches and this is our phone's drive and you can just browse the same like you do with any other folder. For example, if you want to look at your, uh, let's say photographs, Go to this DCMI folder and go to this camera folder and this will list all the photographs. And uh, again, you can also upload music in the music folder like this. And this way you can transfer files to and fro from the PC. Uh, again, uh, do note that this procedure does not work directly with Mac and you have to install a piece of software on the Mac and I'm going to show you the same now. Now this is a Mac computer and by default if you just connect your Android phone using this USB cable nothing will happen but I've installed this free software and now I've just connected and as you can see using which you can now browse all the folders on your phone on a Mac and this is a free software by Google let me show you the same and you can just go to this android.com slash files transfer and download this application for your Mac it works perfectly. As you might have seen, this uh, USB plugging is not for the faint-hearted. If you do not like tinkering with the file system, it's not for you. Uh, for those people, I'm going to show you another software called Android Sync Manager Wi-Fi. And uh, this software uh, works only on PCs. You have to install the app on your Android phone. And also, you have to install a piece of software on your PC. Thereby, once you have done that, you can easily transfer files between your Android phone and the PC. And let me show you the same now. And the name of this application is Android Sync Wi-Fi Manager. You can download it for free from the Android Play Store. And you just install this and when you open it up, you'll get something like this. And you'll also have a pin. Uh, this software is two parts. The first part you have already installed on your Android phone. The other part is you have to install the software on the PC. And if you hit this help button, it should uh, show you the link. And I'll also give the link in the show notes below. Once you install, and uh, now let me show you the software on the PC and how you can use this to sync uh, your Android phone with your PC. Again, do note that this software works only on the PC. Also, you need to make sure that your Android phone and your computer is on the same Wi-Fi network for this to work. And now we'll see the Android sync application that you install on your PC. First, switch on the Android sync application on your Android phone. and and fire this up and this should load the first thing you'll do is uh, you need to go to the settings and hit this connection tab option and enter the pin code that you see on your Android phone and also the IP address that is shown uh, now I uh, just uh, hit uh, OK and uh, you just go scroll down and look at the sync option and just select the items that you want to sync. For example, I had already just uh, done the sync for my camera and camcorder. I did not specifically test the contacts because I generally use uh, e uh, what do you say Gmail and I do the syncing via Gmail. So I did not check this. And I heard that with Outlook it has some issues. So uh, beware of this contact syncs. 
and also one more interesting thing is this folder thing and if you just go here you can just uh, for example hit this new uh, button and here you have the option to sync a content from your PC to the handset or vice versa and you just select a folder and whenever you put something in that folder or vice versa from your Android phone it gets synced so let me just go back to the sync now and I'm back to my sync manager and also if you notice this icon uh, this will be in green color if your Android phone is now connected to this application otherwise uh, it will show a disconnect icon and a red icon here and now uh, for example I have already done my sync to do the syncing just hit this button I already did this sync uh, earlier so uh, it came quickly but if you're doing it for the first time it can take a couple of minutes and I had good experience with syncing what do you say photographs and camcorder or uh, uh, files that's video files and for example they are shown here they'll be defaultly uploaded to this pictures folder and as you can see all my photos that I took with my Android phone are now on my PC uh, it also can sync what do you say videos like this so I feel this is a great application and also if you go to this files option from here you can directly uh, browse the files available on your Android phones uh, memory card for example you can just go here directly go from here and see the files if you would like so this is also there so this is Android sync manager for uh, PCs and using this you can easily transfer files from your Android phone to your PC and the last software that I have is known as Adroid. I've also made a video about this earlier also. And I like this software very much because it's just an app that you install on your Android phone. You do not have to install anything on the PC. So it works with multiple OS like Mac, Linux, uh, PCs, etc. And it's very easy to use. Let me show you the same now. And the last app that I want to show you is known as Adroid. And the beauty of this app is you do not have to install any other software on your computer like PC or Mac. You just need a web browser to make it work and, and this is also free you can download it for free from the Android uh, uh, Play Store and as you can see it will give you this address and you just type in this address and the password given here on your web browser and thereby it gives access to the files on your Android phone and let me show you the same now and I'm just going to type in the address in the URL bar you can use any modern browser for this to work I tested it with Safari Chrome it works and now you have to just enter the password that's shown on your Android phone and now it's connected and this gives you an overview of your phone and you can just click here to see the photographs on your phone you can also upload photographs like that access music upload any music or download any music and you can also have access to the file structure and you can download a lot of files like this the only limitation that I found with this one is for example if I go to this upload folder and uh, I select files the problem is that I can only just select one file it does not allow me to upload multiple files at the go this is the only little con that I face with this application but the beauty of this application is that you don't have to install any uh, files on your computer so you can use this app with any computer you just need access to a web browser so this is adroid and i love this app and this is one of the first apps that i install on any new android phone that i'm going to use so these are some of the ways by which you can uh, what do you say transfer files from your android phone to the pc and vice versa if you are just worried about how to transfer your music files and you're using itunes i would suggest that have a look at this app called double twist uh, it works for both the macs and pc and if you just want to sync music this is the app to go i hope you found this uh, video helpful i also uh, will link to this uh, playlist in which i have uh, posted some other useful videos you can check out that for more info if you feel that uh, this video was helpful i'll appreciate if you can click on the like button given below all the links to the software are uh, listed in the youtube comments below so you can check them out also uh, that's it for now this is ranjit from tech2bus.com and i hope to see you in my next video